Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Claudine Token deck profile for post even fall Onslaught. This was one of the promos that we got back during the Clash of the Heroes booster set, a deck that focuses on giving some power boosts to your token rear guards while also being able to give some pressure to your Vanguard for how many of the tokens you retire. It's a different take on the token playstyle that we've gotten out of Roroa and Gronfia for the decks, going for more of a generic build, very similar to the decks that came out from the Vanguard Switch game, but this one focuses on that added pressure of being able to hit for some pretty big numbers with your token rear guards, and as I said, pressure with the Vanguard. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So we'll go ahead and start off with the ride deck. For the ride deck, we don't really have anything particular for the cards to use for, so we're using the best, I would say, generic cards for the ride deck. Our starter being Sylvan Horn Beast Lot. With it, when Rotopod if you want second, draw a card. Our grade one is Rancor Chain. On the Vanguard Circle, once per turn, you can Soul Blast one, draw two cards, choose up to one order card from your hand, discard it. If you did not discard, choose two cards from your hand and discard it. So giving you draw power, but then also a, an order in the drop zone to then add back with our Black Tears Husk Dragon when placed on Vanguard. Choose up to one normal order from your drop and put it into your hand, recycling back the card we discarded for the initial draw two. And with our main go-to grade three being Pining Flower Maiden, Claudine, along with the one copy we were running in the ride deck. We were also running three additional copies in the main deck as well. On the Vanguard Circle, once per turn, you retire three rear guards until end of this turn. This unit gets the continuous ability of all your plant tokens, get plus 5,000 power, and this unit gets drive plus one, so you'll have three drive checks with your Vanguard, and then the additional power boost to all of your token rear guards as well. And on Vanguard Circle, once per turn, you can bind an order card from the drop zone to call two plant tokens to rear, so you want to run a good number of orders in the deck to begin with to be able to at least consistently call off your plant tokens with this card also and on the vanguard circle when this unit attacks you can soul blast one choose one of your plant tokens stand it and that unit gets plus 5,000 to end of turn for every two order cards with different card names in total in your drop zone and bind zone so as long as it counts the bind zone you have that additional power boost to rely on thanks to this card since you'll have the good number of different cards bound thanks to this card's second skill but also being able to use the ones in your drop zone for those added numbers means you want to activate a good number of orders each turn that can either benefit you calling out rear guards or giving additional benefits to your vanguard to use also the only other grade three that i run in the deck is the one copy of roaming prison dragon this is the ethereal real flower maiden lucilia which also counts in name as roaming prison dragon but from the drop zone when you play a normal order you may call this card to rear guard so it helps to basically fill up your rear guard spots and also with this card if you called this card and you did not perform alkanagic so you're not going to be able to use any of the other power boosts but it just gives you another rear guard to then call out from the drop zone if you end up having to retire off of other cards like your Claudine, you can then at least activate the order and then call it back onto the field. I also run for our only grade two, being two copies of Prod, Paul, and Raffles. Now this card, when placed on rear guard, you can have us one, call two plant tokens. So just giving you more tokens to at least use since you need the token to be able to restand off of Claudine as well for that restand power. So you want cards to be able to call it out. And I like Raffles just because then you have another rear guard on top of the two tokens that you also called out. For the grade ones, we have a good number of grade ones in total in the deck. We're running the four copies of burrow mushrooms you from the rear guard put this unit into the soul call up to two plant tokens for this card's skill and the other one revolves around gronfia so you really just use it for soul build up because you will be soul blasting quite a lot for the attacking power of claudine so you want soul to use with this card and then just using that power thanks to burrow mushrooms and then the two additional rear guards that you'll get off of this card as well for more draw power in the deck to use with our counter blasts i also run the four copies of performing pedal diantha one placed on rear guard from hand if you have a grade three or greater vanguard counter blast one choose a grade three or less card from your drop zone and called to rear so another way to make use of some of the other cards we ran in the deck as well and during your turn if you have two or more grade one or less rear guards it gets plus 5,000 power so just another potential good booster to use with all the tokens that are grade zero in the deck to be able to call out we can at least use diantha as more of a power boost for either a solo attack or to provide boost for one of those cards as well and since claudine also gives power boosts to our rear guards as well they'll be attacking for some pretty stronger numbers as well 
for some of the lower numbers. I also run three copies of Citrus Sun with this card, one placed on rear. If you have a grade zero rear guard, which you will most of the time, you soul charge one, choose one of your grade zero rear guards, and gets plus 5,000 to end of turn. I normally like to give the rear guard that will be restanding the power boost, thanks to Claudine, because with the plus five from Claudine, it'll also have the plus five from Citrus Sun, and any other potential boost or power from triggers after the restand to then attack into my opponent. And then also the four copies of Custodial Dragon. I have the one Hopeful Maiden just as a placeholder since I needed to get a fourth copy still of Custodial Dragon. Or this spot can even be Elementaria Sanctitude if you wish for that Blitz Order spot when going up against decks that have Triple Drive. Now the next part are all the different orders. You do want a good number of orders to run in the deck as well. So for those numbers, I run two copies of Gather Upon, You Wandering Souls. I know you need different named orders, but you still want to run some pretty good orders to rely on as well. The plus power will only revolve around the different order names as well. So as long as you have a couple, you're getting a good boost to that rear guard as well. You play this by discarding an order card from your hand. So this will also help to set up the different named orders if you didn't want to activate one of those in your drop zone as well. You choose one your vanguards and it gets drive plus one till end of turn so on top of the drive plus one that claudine initially gets you'll also have the one from this meaning you could have a four drive check vanguard when activated properly with claudine and this card together i also run two copies of mythiarch habitat you look at the top seven cards of your deck choose up to one unit card with grade less than or equal to your vanguard and call it to rear guard and shuffle your deck so then you have the option of this card giving you more search power as well for the particular units you may need for your cards as well and also, when this card will be called from the deck to rear, you put it from the hand instead. So counting as a unit card makes it especially useful for that also. I also run the two copies of Spiritual Body Condensation as just another card using a Soul Blast to be able to call a card from your drop zone with grade equal to or less than your Vanguard, and it gets plus 5,000 as well. And then for some of the one-ups, I run one copy of the new Blessings of the Flowering Buds. You Until the end of turn, all your rear guards with original 5,000 or less power get plus 10,000 and when this unit attack hits you may return this unit to the hand so while you may not have the additional return to hand for your tokens it does give those 5,000 or less power an additional plus 10 so an additional power boost as well to those units as well the only reason i'm only running the one though is because you don't really get much out of the boost power for this card but also the one rousing rasp as another search off of a counter blast the one nectar of sensationalism as well to finish off the rest of the orders with additional power boost to a rear guard if you're drop zone has 15 or more cards and additional critical also and then for the trigger lineup i run the seven critical so the four copies of dual pressure dragon and the three abyss temptation with the next spot i decided to go with the front trigger since you will have a rear guard that is restanding you'll be able to hit for more rear guard pressure if you do reveal this card for the additional power to the front row and then having a vanguard with quadruple check as well with the four heels being just Rhythmica Kiwi and our over trigger being the Bless Favor for healing power and then additional pressure to your front row as well. And just choosing a unit to get a critical plus one means we could potentially choose that token that would restand also. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Just a quick take on a potential promo card that could be made into a completely new deck to use for Stoikea, almost like we had with Graham Grace until we got more of the specific support for it. We may see that for Claudine in the future as well. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.